This alligator's been stalking me. Is this the big one? Hey everybody, how's it going? Had a great day of fishing today. I caught three largemouth bass within a one hour time frame. That is my personal best. All of them were above two pounds a piece. If you would like, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Any money that we make from this channel, Jane and I have a commitment to give to charities. Now, I also have two colleagues that I've met along the way. One is wildlife, and the other one is uh, Buffalo Bayou Fishing Champs. That's a mouthful. Both of these young cats are absolutely doing the right thing. Uh, they're positive, and they truly believe that a high tide ri rises all boats. And so, please feel free to subscribe to them also. You know, don't, uh, don't act like, uh, you know, you subscribing is like you holding on to a bag of magic beans or something. You know, you can subscribe to as many people as you want. But what it helps these young cats do, and, and us for that matter, is it helps us to build our channels. Now, getting back to the fish. Check out this fish right here. Beautiful fish. The first lesson I learned, do not, whatever you do, do not pick up a fish by the leg. Oh my God. I, I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I, I caught the fish. It was a beautiful fish. And then what do I do? I decide, huh, let me pick the fish up by the lure. Man, that fish flipped like that. And oh my gosh, that hook sunk down into my finger all the way past the barb. I had to do field expedient surgery on myself. Very painful. Okay, so then after that, I caught a second fish. Beautiful fish, another beautiful fish. This fish, it was only about two feet off of the shore. It was in less, probably less than one foot of water, and it was about 15 feet away from me. Funny enough though, earlier today, the barometer was really, it was really on the right side of, of 30, which as you know, uh, the barometer, if it's 30 or above, chances are the fishing, all things being equal, is going to be better. And then the second lesson I've learned is make sure that you, um, you, you do proper maintenance on your lures. Make sure that you you, you make sure that your spinner, if you're using a spinner, is, is folded down correctly so that it is going to get the right amount of, of leverage from the water to where it spins. And also make sure that the, the, the spinner is close to the lure. If you do this, chances are good you won't get an errant hit. And what I mean by an errant hit is a hit where maybe the fish will go more towards the spinner than they will towards the lure. If both of those are close, and especially with largemouth bass, if both of them are close, chances are you're going to get a nice clean hit and a nice clean hook. And then the third fish I caught, oh, yeah. it, it, it weighed in at about 2.15 pound 2.14 pounds 2.15 pounds but it fought and it it felt like it weighed a lot more but you know the scale don't lie baby the scale don't lie unless of course the scale is wrong but generally speaking the scale don't lie so that was my third bass and then for a uh uh just a little bit of icing on the cake uh, I hooked into a really beautiful, healthy tilapia. And, uh, you know, I, I gotta tell you, tilapia, pound for pound, I think they put up as good a fight as a bass. A tilapia, I'll take a tilapia any day. I mean, they put up a beautiful fight. 
So there we have it, folks. Uh, had a great day of fishing, and I hope you uh, get something out of the lessons I learned uh, today. Thanks. Bye.